Hello everyone, Sargon Destroyer of Worlds here, and welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 2022. Yes, we are back here in Elm Creek, and we're back in a familiar field. And as well, a familiar month. Yes, we are back in, I should say, still in the month of March, but I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. I was bribed with money. Lots and lots of good money to stay in the month of March and come back and visit Field 70, where, yes, we were using the beautiful cultivator last episode, and we're now back doing a fertilizer contract, and we're just about to finish it off, and that's, as I said, because money, yes, I couldn't resist. So we're just going to finish this one off here. In fact, I did another one, Field 39 as well, off screen, because, well money. Um, I, I just couldn't get out of the month of March without uh, finishing things off here. And we're now done. And I'll show you why. Uh, and that's because of money. So we come on here, you can see for field 39, $8,300 and 15,000 for field 70. So let's accept those contracts. Uh, oh, I stopped my, uh, which was probably good, my cruise control, you know, a la Knight Rider. So uh, that's $24,000 of very easy money. We already had the fertilizer, so not a big deal. So let me just get back to the farm and we will move on to uh, April. Ah, uh, after a good night's sleep, yes, let's get into the month of April. It's looking to be a good day. Ah, uh, what a beautiful, beautiful spring day. Our canola is growing. Our chickens are probably doing quite well. Yeah, they're producing their eggs. If we recall, we actually had to buy some food at the market because uh, we actually ran out of wheat, but... Look at all the eggs they're producing. So that is quite good. Our greenhouse is producing lettuce. So let us see. Oh, okay. I'm on. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry about that one. Okay, so let's come in. We're gonna have a look to see if there's any great contracts. Uh, there's a fertilizing contract, but we've been doing those, and there's some baling contracts. So I think we'll kind of just skip right past those today. I was hoping there would be... Oh, and my plan... I was thinking of buying Field 54. Oh, what is, what is on Field 54? Let's have a look-see. So somebody... What do they plant? Oh, they planted corn. Okay, so new plan. Let's have a look at a empty field. So we have a few around the farm. I do want to stay pretty close to the farm. So actually 49 has now been planted as well with sorghum. Well, that's interesting. Uh, okay, so let's look, because that's probably what we're actually going to look to plant. So field 40, 177,000, 51. Oh, that's pretty darn affordable at 91,000. And field 55 at 100 and basically 19,000. Hmm. So I think it's between 55 and 51. The advantage of buying 51, as you can see, we've we stuck in a beehive here. So if we do plant canola, and I can't recall what else, what else, what else, what else? Let's go to find our help here. I can't remember what else the uh, bees actually do help with. So bees. Canola, sunflower, and potato fields. Okay, so okay, that's fine. So so let's go in and let's buy field 71. Oh, sorry. I believe it's 51. My bad. I'd love 71, but field 51. So we're going to come in and we are now going to add 51. So let's buy it. Yes, we will add that to our 
our farm. So let's go actually have a look to see what uh, Field 51 actually needs. So if you have a look at uh, 51 here, it has a ton and I, well, actually we'll see how many tons of rocks. Okay, uh, some, some bad punny jokes here, but uh, they're just rolling off the tongue today. So we will have to use our stone picker, which, hey, we just got a brand new one. Well, brand new to us. Uh, so we definitely get to use that. It does need to be fertilized. And as well, we do need to plant. So let's get things going so we can get this field being productive for us. Just rolling things, well, rolling up, I should say, so we can get things going. So we just got to, I believe, just lower the stone picker, just double check. Oh no, we do need to turn it on as well. That makes sense. So this one looks much better than the previous ones we've had. Although, are we lowered? Are we actually... No, we're not actually picking things up. There we go. It was unfolded, but not lowered. So this actually, lowering it, turning it on, makes it uh, work much better. Look at that, just clean up this field. Whoa! Speaking of field, we're running out of room here on this field. Oh, tight turn, tight turn. So I think we'll just go up and down and do some laps. Now, the advantage of a stone picker is it does basically remove, well, removes the stones, which does damage to our equipment, uh, which in theory saves us money uh, because we don't have to spend as much money on repairing our equipment. Now, we're, from time to time, I've had the slight accident. Um, you know, I kind of like running into things, not paying attention while driving. I mean, I've never done those things, uh, insurance company. Um, somebody hit me. Uh, that tree jumped out and hit me. That signpost jumped out and hit me. So, but we will see. This is nice. Hey, wanna race? I got, oh man, you're cheating, cheating. He had the momentum, it was all momentum. Um, that, that's, that's why I, I, I lost that race. But we'll just chill here and we will clean up our field. So let me just hop into a quick time lapse and we'll see you on the other side. Okay, so I think we've got all, or at least most of the uh, rocks off of this particular field. So this stone picker, much nicer. Oh, hello, sir. Hello. Much nicer to use than uh, the first one I tried. And I just love having uh, my vision blocked. Yeah, nothing better. Okay, so let's come over here because mister was taunting me. There we go. 
So this is most of the rocks off the field, which is pretty good, which we filled 83% of the hopper in here. So I think we'll just uh, fold this baby up and we'll get it back to the yard. And we'll look at uh, getting the fertilizing done, you know, because we do have, well, actually we had the fertilizer out. It's back in the barn. And, uh, oh, 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 I'm not liking this camera angle. Let's go back to here. Ah, uh, yes. The only way to drive in third person. So much better. So much better. Okay, so let's get the uh, tractor with the fertilizer and get that done on our new field. So we now get uh, this field fertilized. It will take nothing but a hot minute here to get this, this done. And that's thanks to this great fertilizer. Look at the throw on this thing. Uh, looks like we might only need to do two passes. Maybe a, well, technically a third pass with just to get the edge, but we'll see how far this can actually throw. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, sir. Um, who put that creek bed there? Not me. I just bought this property for uh, the Elms. Yes, that that will hold up to, against the against the insurance agent. Oh no. Okay, so let's get this up and done. Yes, yeah, so we'll have to do a small pass. Let's just make sure we're fully connected there. Well, technically it's a full pass, but not with uh, the widespread. But yeah, this is quick and easy, which I think means we might do another tasty little contract because, um, you know, it's amazing what I'll do for money. And apparently uh, fertilizing other farmers' fields is uh, one of them. So let's come in here. Once again, I would love to see a little icon where I don't have to go into this menu to see how far the spread is on. But it is what it is. We'll work with it. So unlike uh, the fertilizer contracts, we do want to fertilize the entire field, basically. You know, it's one thing to mess a, a little tiny bit, but we will finish the entire section here. Um, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, there's a creek here as well. Probably would be best if I would have come in from this direction. Gave me m much... Whoa. Whoa much better uh, turning radius. So I do just want to come and quickly get this little bit here. There we go. So I think what we're going to do is first we're going to go look in and see at the used equipment. Uh, there's this little fence. Looks nice. But not anything we could currently really use around the farm. Uh, don't see any value. And this is nice. Look at this. This is an old time tractor for sure. But once again, not something I think we can put to uh, use. So with that, I think we will head over to our contracts. And yeah, so you can see here with our contract mod, better contracts. $702 profit per minute uh, to do good old field number 70. We've been there many times, so I think we can uh, accept uh, this contract. We won't do any others. These bailing contracts you can see here uh, look very, very nice. But not today, sir. Not today. So let's just make sure we get the best path over to field 70. And oh, sorry, it's field 71 we keep on doing. Um, not, had not been field 70. So I was thinking that was where we do the grass. It is not, but that's why we also always check for directions. And instead of, uh, you know, just driving and thinking of where you're going. So yeah, so let's get, uh, things over to, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. They, they want us uh, back here 
Already? That is very nice of them to, uh... Wow! So, basically, where we... I, I swear, Zs, didn't plan it this way. Where we start the episode, we shall also likely finish this episode. So let's make sure we're on full spread. And what is in here? What, uh, oh yeah, no, we cultivated it, so somebody planted it. No, no, sorry, we did this, sunflowers, okay. Yeah, we did the cedar, sorry. I was confused with another contract. So we, we are doing a lot of work for this uh, farmer here. It would be really nice to somehow be able to snag this field just before harvest season. I, I don't think we can pull this off because I believe the cost was $770,000. Let's go have a look-see. $772,488. That is just a tad outside what we can afford. You know, we're, we're you know, just $600-ish thousand dollars shy of that. But we have lots of opportunity to make some money between uh, now and harvest season. But maybe, just maybe, we'll get the harvest contract if we can't look to buy it. But it would be great to also buy a sunflower field or plant sunflowers. Now we would need to get a different header um, or a combine. So don't want to spend that money yet. But if somebody wants to pay us to do it and let us borrow their equipment, maybe we do the little uh, trick again where we take the contract, fulfill the contract, deliver it hopefully to, hopefully. No, no, that wasn't the trick. The trick, uh, yeah, no, that wasn't the trick we had done uh, to get the actual oil plant. We actually delivered our own canola to the oil plant. And then what we did is we bought the oil plant with it still being in the production line. So now I do, uh, you know, hopefully at least if we were to pick up this harvest contract where it wants it delivered is our oil mill or our other cell points on the map. So you never know. But this is going well. Look at this. Look at this. Love these animations. Oh, wait a minute. Where am I going? Where am I? Hang on. Got, got myself sidetracked here. Okay. 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 We're good. Swearsies. We are coming around the headland. That's what we're up to. Now, obviously this is a little tougher to navigate than our home field. So let's get ourselves a wider view. And as you can see, the true power of how slow all of a sudden we got. Yeah, there we go, come on. Uh, and I can't get the cruise control to go. That's fine. Fine, fine. Fine. It's fine. Now I need to remember to kind of steer away from the edge because it's curving in pretty hard. And we can see where we've thrown the fertilizer. This is definitely much faster than the sewing contract. But, you know, in some ways, not as fun, I will admit because, you know, we do a lot of fertilizing and it's quick, it's easy in terms of also making money. It's great, so it's hard to turn down because money, yes. So speaking of money, we do have $168,000. We did add one field uh, in this episode. 
and I would still like your feedback. What should I be looking to buy? Should we be looking at another field uh, and basically using up this money? Maybe even stretching it a bit by maybe taking a, a loan to get a bigger field or a medium sized ish field and a production maybe? Or should we just save up for uh, an animal pen or something? Like cows, oh. Where are we? Where are we? Here? I think we're good. Help? <laughs> I think we're good. Uh, I think we can go a little to the right here. This is the nice thing where we don't actually have to finish the entire field, but it would be nice not to waste uh, fertilizer. Oh, that's nice, though. Look at that. Look at that. That's a beautiful view. So coming up here where we've already been. I think we will check the mini map here. 74%. Okay. That 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 wasn't bad at all. Could have been uh you know, a lot worse, but it's pretty good. I think we can just safely come down here, work our way a bit more to the left. It's also why I prefer uh, fertilizing, sowing, uh, planting basically and then uh, fertilizing before getting out of the month. So you don't have to uh, kind of guess where you are. And as well, you need to make sure you use the right tractor with uh, narrow wheat, uh, wheels or have crop destruction off. So this is the safest play. But since this is a contract, that no matter. Come around. Kind of see our edge there, I think. Eighty-four percent. So yeah, this 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 field took a hot minute longer than our own field that we bought, field uh, fifty-one. But that's fine. We're paying us some good money. Basically, seven hundred dollars a minute for our efforts. Ooh, but we are nearly out of seed. Okay, so let's be a little careful here. We have 6% to go, 4% in our seeder, or fertilizer, I should say. So even though there's a little bit there, let's see if we can find this little triangle shaped here where we would have yeah there we go we have our best chance of getting the six percent hopefully with our three percent two percent oh come on come on baby coax it out we can do it one percent and come on come on come on we can do it Oh, yes, yes, ah, ah, yes, we did it. That, by the hair of our chinny chin chin, we were able to complete this contract. So let's come in uh, and let's feel very accomplished by taking all this great money here and say thank you for your money. Uh, we're very happy to help you anytime. So we did a lot of work on Field 70 here, uh, just by random, but hey, money. So let's have a quick look at our farm. As you can see, all the fields that we have owned are fully fertilized, uh, which is 45, 46. You can ignore 44. It's no longer an operating field. We own Field 48, 50, and now 51. So... You know, and then if we look, maybe we should be looking at getting uh, these fields. Uh, so let's come back here. 
back to map view. So we're able to click. So we will have to do work in our fields for stones. We don't need to worry about mulching the field we just bought. But if we come here and we look, field 47 does have canola. Field 49, uh, whereas it has sorghum. So that, that's that's a possibility. I had thought about buying 54, but somebody got corn onto it because that looked pretty good. And there's cotton down here in 53, so we're, we're not going to buy that field if there's a contract. Happy, very happy to take it. Now, field 55 has nothing on it, so maybe that's what we buy next episode. Or we do take advantage of field with crops. And if you look, we likely will stay in April to start next episode. So there is sorghum. So it's likely what we're going to plant on our field we just bought. But, you know, there's things like soybeans and potentially corn. But I would love to be able to get a wheat. Likely one of our fields turned over to wheat. So sorghum is kind of one of these things that, or even over to canola. Yeah, so it's, where's sorghum here? Sorry. If we plant, we can harvest and get canola in. So that's an option or, or wheat. So a lot of good options there. So I think we're going to leave it here. So very productive episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Now, the one thing I would ask, if you have enjoyed this episode, uh, please hit the like button because that does help the content be seen by other uh, people who would enjoy the content. So with that, I would like to thank you for watching. And until next time, bye for now.